Good day everyone, it's Gareth again with Watch Mobile Gaming, continuing our Captains of Industries playthrough. Alright, let me just check here. Okay, we've got a truck that's stuck. We always seem to have a truck that's stuck. Where exactly do you want to go? I've got enough range for the fuel tanks, right? Or is it just interpreting it as too much range? Oh, well, we'll cover the truck anyway. It doesn't matter. Anyway, last time around we were getting the start on our nuclear power generation to build, uh, I think we're making, yellow cake, right. And then hydrof hydrogen fluoride, sorry if I'm pronouncing that correctly, using cheats. Yeah, I do really love that function. Anyway, nuclear power, and we've got our first successful chip production up and running. Okay, power is running on its own. I haven't done any cheats, as you can see, just to see what's going on. So power seems to be working fine. But utility, okay, I just got to fix that quick. Uh, generate. Yeah, utility, I'm not doing very good with all the uh, offshore operations. Not bad, but not good. It's still just, just not enough. As you can see, it's 19.50 per month, just below. We'll just keep an eye on our power generation, but it looks like we're doing all right. We've got our first chip production up and running completely, which is awesome. But now the question comes in. It goes out that side. Can I run a conveyor belt along here? We're going to have to follow this one down under basically through this complex. I'd have to build another bridge unit here somewhere because we have to then run it all the way through to this point. Or do we follow this track around? This is going to be one long, long, long conveyor belt, but it may be possible to deliver microchips straight. Because I think having our trucks run this, do this run, is not a very good idea. It's pretty stupid. Because my trucks are just overworked at the moment seriously seriously overworked i just don't have enough the facilities are built so far apart that they're just yeah this is i love large maps but particularly with this game that can be a slight hiccup now factorio style gameplay it's not a big hiccup because well it's factorio you don't really care about conveyor belts and you have underground conveyor belts which work really really nicely Whatever type of screw up you want to do. Um, so we have to go up one. Okay, this is going to be the super belt of epic because, yeah. following this conveyor belt because I know I'm not going to have any trucks driving here. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go under. No point in causing a disruption in existing pathways. Any of my vehicles need to go this way? No, they do not. Still gonna go underneath though. Yeah, this pipe, this, this mega conveyor belt system here. It's probably gonna be the longest conveyor belt I've ever run in this game because I haven't had a need to do the conveyor belt quite this long yet. straight across this system. Where are we going? Right now. Yeah, 
Alright, so we can deliver microchips this way. Instead of fighting with them. It would be awesome, to say the least. Okay, let's go down one. We so basically have to run to the coal plant. Tanks come in the way. Okay, yeah, so that's not gonna work. Uh, quick remove. Quick remove. Yeah, now I'm gonna cheese off a lot of my ground vehicles. Oh wow! Did he? That one just drove right over. good piece of track on my head. Yeah, I don't think driving over a high-speed conveyor belt in real life is going to be such a great idea. Speaking of, are these even high-speed? Yeah, they are high-speed conveyor belts. Where am I attaching to this? Yeah, I am. So that would suck. I built this whole blinking conveyor belt system. And then... Instead of, and then it doesn't work, and I can't figure out why, and then I have to go all the way back and discover, oops, I did not make a connection. I never realized it. Yeah, we're basically going to run through our production center here. Is there a gap for me to use? Yeah, there's a gap right here. I can run along the back here. Ooh, this area is going to be a pain in the butt. All the way across and through here. Yeah. One monster conveyor belt coming right up. Okay, let's go up. Okay, so one, let me go. Yeah, this is gonna look stupid no matter what I do. Just as long as I don't disrupt my vehicle operations, I'm very, very, gonna be very, very happy. To uh, these, uh, these are indicating to be connection points for the belt, and it's complaining about me going near them. See here. Ah, right, rat's nest. I completely forgot about that. Fine. Yeah, this place is a genuine, honest to yods rat's nest. Um, I want to go this way because I don't want to disrupt. Starting at the other end where constructions, right? Hello? Oh, right. Because of that um, point here, it interpreted it as two separate conveyor belts. It better join here. Okay, I'm just going to save because I don't want to do that again. It wasn't... Oh, oops, wrong button. 
it wasn't that hard physically or mentally or planning it was just a case of just keep dragging until I got to the other end but still let's not do that again I've had some other games of me where I've been playing and I've done a lot of work I was particularly playing Fallout 4 lately just to have something different to play and then it's been because I'm using mods it bombed on me a few times and yeah Fallout 4's autosave function I haven't actually checked whether I need to make it auto it can autosave earlier during gameplay or more often but I've had a few hiccups where I've done a lot of work, built a whole settlement to Fallout 4, just have it bomb and discover, oh, you never found that settlement in the first place. And like, mm, significant amounts of anger. That annoyance. Yeah. Okay, once this is running, we can create self-sustaining production for, micro for servers and maintenance, because that's right now all we're going to use this for. Is the microchips going anywhere else? No, we've got two of them. Oh right, I wanted, because I wasn't sure I was making them quickly enough, I wanted to make sure they were being properly shared. Right. Oh wow, that's a hell of a lot of people. How much are you using? 28. Yeah, okay. Let's get these all operational. I've got the population. I'm going to have to increase my population again later. But we should, as we automate this stuff, because as we upgrade it, we'll reduce the total amount of people per, I think, from three, from eight to three, which is really nice. Okay, it's going to be a little while before microchips make their way down this absolutely ginormous conveyor belt. But it doesn't look like I'm interrupting any of my vehicle operations, so that's great. They're already completely stuck. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's going to come in fits and bursts. Am I? I'm not cheating this for fuel burning. They're taking water away. Okay. Well, I can always cheat it back in later if we start running into a coolant issue. Yep, they are. I don't know where they're taking it. Oops, oh, sorry, wrong button. Tank that up, tank that up. Uh, it doesn't matter. This system is supposed to be uh, basically recycling. Whatever's going in is coming back out again, being recooled, and then going back into the system. Okay, we can add more servers. And start getting the next row of. Oh no, we start at this point. That system back up. Uh, how many terraforms? You take four, so we're slightly short here. Okay, so they take the silicon, cook it into. What it looks like a tube, or I'm assuming just a big um, what's that term called again? Ugh. Circle tube. Yeah, it is a tube, but not a hollow tube, like a core sample or something solid. I'm sorry, I just can't remember its term at this moment. And they just chop it into discs. Yep. But it looks metallic, so maybe there's something else to go with it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, whenever you see them or you Google them making microchips, all you see are the large, these large machines and people in uh, complete coveralls and masks and goggles and walking between the various machines making sure they're transferring the disks properly. Okay, we're slightly over under our processing requirement, but I don't care. Because eventually we'll have enough. Because I'm going to get that whole system online. Now then, power generation is surprisingly not a problem. Probably because of solar panels and probably because most of these systems are now running. Yeah, actually all of it's just about running. Excellent. So far little diesel engines here, but there's gas. No, that's not a problem. Okay, we were working on nuclear power. We still need to recycle all of our waste, figure out how we're going to get rid of all of that. Because ideally, 
I want to funnel all of the, um, is this, what is this, what are you dumping? That'll be easier if I just look at the machine itself. Okay, exhaust, because we have a means of disposing of exhaust. Yeah, here it is. Okay, wait, this just shows me production where, wow, a lot of things make a mess. Where does it show me how to get rid of it? Here it is. Yeah, this exhaust scrubber, which using sulfur, it produces and plus it will produce okay, exhaust to that and it'll produce sulfur, carbon dioxide plus steam and carbon dioxide. We can funnel right over here into our um let's look at mine. We can just build the structure right here on this corner, pump it all in there. And that'll pretty much get rid of our one of our major carbon dioxide um, pollution problems. Or will it? How much is actually getting producing? How much pollution is this point actually producing? We've got these units here. So one, two, three. Okay, this place is actually not producing a lot of waste. It's actually producing next to no waste. Which means I'm running the conveyor belt, the pipeline, this way. Because this is the problem. 99.9% .9 of the air pollution is this industrial sector here. It's maybe mainly all of these. Yeah, in fact, it's just these. I'd probably find I cut most of my pollution out if I got rid of all of these. And these are all producing exhaust, right? Oh no, these are producing CO2. Of course you would. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because that, that's, that's just slightly annoying because all of this is producing exhaust so I can pipe all of this into one pipe and then I've got one flippant facility that's not producing <laughs> oh well the whole point of the game is it's a challenge even when you're cheating there now I've got enough processors enough servers to run all of this all right I'll keep going but how are we on the production okay we're actually not doing too bad there Ideally, I want to get the next row of these machines running. So let's get this all built and paused. And then, as the teraflop, as the pro as service come online, we'll begin our next production. How much do you produce what at the end of the line? Four. Of course, why not? Okay. Let's focus on something. Let's do nuclear power. Okay, just one second. I'm going to sneeze. Okay, and we're back in. We've got two trucks stuck. Where, oh, where, where do you want to go? Why do you want to go there? Okay, first things first. Having another waste problem. And no, you're not allowed to work there. Thank you very much. You only pick up here. Make sure I turn this wall off. Yeah, this facility is pretty much deactivated, so I can take that cheat off until it gets clogged up again. And then, yeah. It's just I just don't have enough trucks running around. That's the only hiccup. And I'll let truck export come around and park here. Can't get to that side though. Alright. Th that's fine. Everything seems to be working. Medical supplies or choco block, so I don't want to do it. We still gotta build the next generation of medical supplies. I forgot about those, which was that bacteria stuff we we're working on. But for now I want uranium if I'm not mistaken. Yeah uranium ore. We've turned it into crushed uranium ore. We've taken the crushed uranium ore and we've turned it into yellow cake and we're cycling the waste over here. Next comes uranium pellets, which we're producing the two items we need in the enrichment plant. Oh, steel. Okay, I'm going to cheat the steel in. I'm afraid as you get deeper into this game, there's less and less I can actually ship because it's just... I'm not doing this very efficiently. I mean, at all. I'm doing this very, very badly. Uh, okay, we'll pipe it in from that side. Oh, okay, so I did that. I did the 
Okay, so I did this system backwards, but it doesn't matter. space to improve population which means I either have to start producing less of which I don't want to I'm gonna have to figure out how to produce more of I have to see what kind of room I have and how much space I'm willing to sacrifice surprised this is they made nuclear operations this easy I do know there is oops that's going to be a very bad move on my part sorry I do know they made uh, there's a gentleman out there who has made a mod that makes the um, uranium production a little harder because he thought it also was too simple at least I think it is I took a look at the mod once a while back and I've kind of forgotten exactly what the mod does but I do remember they there is a nuclear mod and as far as I know, it does make things a little more interesting, as far as nuclear power production is concerned. I'll have to double check that. I haven't honestly looked into it because I was quite happy with Captains of Cheats. And since I never properly did a playthrough of this game until, well, something of more in uh, interesting, because it didn't keep me interested long enough at the time, I just never looked into it. Now, of course, I'm doing a YouTube series on it, and that is interesting. Okay, I'm gonna run the steel on that side, so we'll put this here. Still gotta see about that brick stuff. I know it's part of the beginning game playthrough. We got uranium pellets. Yeah, just going. I know I could probably put these buildings one to one, and I could have swapped these buildings over so these conveyor points were closer. Don't care. Literally just don't. Off, off. Uh, well, it'll complain in a minute. Alright. Oops. Uh, no, I'm going to have to do this that way. The reason I have to do this this way is so that all the factories evenly share their product with my production site. If I don't do it this way, there's a possibility that some of these plants will only receive a small percentage of the total production output of my factory. So if I run it here, then it's then this, these two facilities will only supply that one because I'm running it up this way. So I have to run it around to maximize production. Okay, now we want large scale storage because that's me. We don't care if the trucks can't get to that one because, well, it's going to be full anyway. So what does that matter to anyone? Can I put another one here? Yes, I can. It's going to look terrible, but I don't care. We'll have a nice bunch of radioactive stuff stored in a completely non-containment capable building that will kill every man, woman, and child who ever sets foot in it. It works. Ah, of course I did. Uh, population, population. Okay, we can sort this quick. We're gonna just steal people from every town and range. Okay, any more than that, I've gotta see. Where can I squeeze in some more buildings? Answer. I'm gonna have to move the trucks one layer down. Okay. Oh. Oh dear. Okay, I can squeeze one more structure there, and this building is in the way. Uh, that's in the way. 
I could probably start coming out this way, but I want to get to these resources. Oh, hello. Ah, it's been here the whole time and I didn't notice it. Okay. Once we've mined the surface raw ore, I have to dig down, but in order to make sure I can oops, cancel that, dig down, I'm actually going to have to build a land bridge here, just to cut the water flow off from this area. But luckily we can't do that because I'm producing plenty of um, waste material here. I want to see how that nuclear process goes on. Well, I'm not going to see much because it's actually inside a building, but... How much do you guys you produce? Three. But luckily, this whole system is fully automated, so it's not a big hiccup now. drums do. I get this is a mixing but this must be greater refinement. I do admit I do love that aspect of the guys who designed this game. I find some things weird like the computer service stuff but I get it. You want the player to take a look and see okay this is how this works. You get an you can physically see that A your factories are doing their job and B that's what it looks like when they do it so that is entertaining. That's why we animate games. So us, all of us would be playing flipping um, story games, which is just writing on a page, which I won't lie, I'm not a fan of. Some, yes, but now, not so much. Very, very boring to me. Okay, so nuclear produ pellet production is online. We'll check what comes next in a minute. I just want to get more servers online quick. And start getting our next row of microprocessors working. That takes us straight to 72. Each one of these takes four and six people. Ah. I've got the population capability. Let's get that eater because I could have 700, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. Okay. Um, N? Will this be under nuclear power? No, okay. You, okay, let's go back to here. For, we've got uranium rods. Okay, so those go into a nuclear reactor with water, uranium rod that produce steam, and spent fuel. Do I have a means of disposing of spent fuel yet? No. Glorious. Okay, I may hold off build. Well, I'll probably build one nuclear reactor to have a nuclear reactor. And pump the high pressure steam back into my power grid. But... Yes, at least. Uh, is there a research that lets us dispose of the spent fuel rods? So this is this small piece is what I haven't done yet. Okay, that's level two microchip. This is better CO two recycling into graphene. That's actually a technology I really really want to graphite because that I can use. Even if it's just stockpiling it, it would be so much better for. Okay, I'm gonna hold off. Wait, uh, dealing with waste recycling because then I could build a graphene recycling plant next to our uh, smelting facilities. Is there a way to dispose of nuclear waste? Not yet. Technically, technically, this game is still in early access. I think. Uh, let me just double check it. Yeah. Sorry about that. I just quickly went to the Steam page to check. Yes, this game is still in early access. Which does mean, okay, our population is already maxed out. Let me turn that all off. Awesome. So we've got 248 workers, so that should be enough to get everything smoothly running. Yes, this game is still in early access. So, uh, okay, how much space do I need? I could probably fit a, another row of buildings so I'm going to move this structure.
So yes, they're made later on as the game progresses in production, as they design the game more. They're probably going to go ahead and make a means of... Okay, hang on, I just want to delete this part, because I want to drain this warehouse first. Before we go too far. how it looks because I don't care. Ah, hang on a minute. Cancel that. Quick remove. As long as we're not interfering with this, we can actually do a little better here. So that means we can actually run the system here. Okay. So, yeah, I honestly wasn't thinking when I just went ahead and built that. Okay, now we can get rid of our material waste here. Transfer non-produced and then we'll just run this pipe forward. Yabong! Oh, did it not? Ah. Classic. Classic, classic, classic. I am out of level 2 production again. Uh, sorry, level 3. Okay, let's get this warehouse empty. This is done purely for fun. See, yeah, it is draining it fairly quickly. Let's see how fast two times two goes. Woohoo! Yeah, that was also one of the other hiccups I had when I was playing. Oh, food supply is low. Oh, right, trucks are too busy to deliver. Chong, 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 ching, ching, chong. Padonk! I am producing plenty of food, it's just the trucks don't have the opportunity to get it where it needs to be. Which is classic for flippin' um, famine, but luckily in this game, well luckily this is a game so we don't have to care as much. 16 months of food. Plenty like that. Still doing everything else, so that's fine. This warehouse is almost completely drained. And then we'll run the conveyor belts here, and then later on we can run this wave. Mainly actually producing this just to get rid of food. Because yeah, we're funneling potatoes and sugar and cooking oil and plastics and making snacks and half the snacks. Did I? Oh, for Brooks Scholar's sake. Yeah, I did. I well and truly did. Oh, well, the trucks can still get through here to get this thing, so... Okay, I haven't completely screwed up. For a second, I thought I completely blocked off all access to the snack food production center. But no, they can come here and they can drop off eggs and they can drop off... Okay, we can increase the size of our population. Yay! Yeah, it interprets when I dismantled that first series as a completely separate. Is this not upgraded? Oh no, it is. It's just... For some stupid reason, I thought dismantling something was... When it went blue for building and red for dismantling, I for some reason thought that was a level indicator that each conveyor belt would have a different color code. It doesn't. That was just me not thinking. Alright. Let's build our nuclear power plant. We'll build it here. Because, well, the fuel is here. Water, easy to get. Cheated in. No problem anymore, as far as water is concerned. If I ever die and reincarnate and this is the game, I have to... Well, this is the game skill I get. Because there are quite a few um, insekai, I think I'm pronouncing that badly, reincarnated in another world series where 
people gain the powers of the games they played the most, which I thought were quite interesting. I hope they give me the cheat pack as well. Because <laughs> if I have to play this properly, well, I guess if you have all the time in the world, you could probably do it, but still. Universe, please give me the cheat pack as well. Okay. Water in. Radiation out. Steam out. Okay, how exactly... Where, first off, where exactly am I going to use high pressure steam? High pressure steam is used all the way over here. So it may actually pay me to build the reactor plant here. Now this this pipe this system is dealing with low pressure well depleted steam. This is producing high pressure steam. What else can we use steam for? For before I get this, because this reactor is going to produce a lot of steam. It's steam. Okay, it's mainly produced, but what uses it? Alright, these system use it, power plant uses it, and water cooling tower uses it, but that's on the far side of the map. So we can pump it into the cooling tower, we could build our own... T okay, wait, could we? Because right now, this system is supplying enough steam, there's no problem, as far as I can tell. Okay, this one is just barely making it, but it is... Okay, I'm going to pipe... I'm going to split the steam 50-50. Half is going to be piped here. Half is going to be piped into a recycling cooling tower so we can re constantly reuse and refresh the water supply. So we'll move the reactor to here. Give us space to work. I'll dump the... Yeah, I'll build a couple big storage tanks, uh, storage facilities here, and I'll dump the waste there. And then I could, I could always cheat the waste away for now. And we could say we're dumping it in the ocean like responsible people. Yeah, don't. I'm fully with recycle everything you can recycle. So, I would, I'm quite happy with the prospects of... Um, Yeah, recycle everything you can possibly recycle as much as you possibly can. Okay, so let's see. Half of this goes into the recycling plant, half of it goes into the system, so... Ah, too close. Very good. I don't know if pumping water all into here is a great is going to make any big difference. I have no idea. But I'm just gonna swing with it. Ah. Oops, that was my bad. Yuck. Okay, that goes there. I'll build cooling towers. A lot of cooling towers. You are water. It's possible the mod also adds a means of disposing of radioactive waste. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just going to build the, a small storage tank here. And we'll just say I'm dumping it somewhere. One of the things I've always liked, I will admit, of games like this, this one follows the Factorio example of building a spaceship. But I believe in this game, the purpose of building a spacecraft is to re-establish contact with the world as a whole. Okay, I think this is a... No, it's not a gravel product, because that's a flat conveyor belt. Ach, I'll just let it run into this thing and then we'll worry about it um, in. Ah, yes, sorry. Is this a gravel product? But no, I, I don't think this is a gravel product. 
it's not a gravel product. Okay, we'll let it fill it up and then I'll add the delete function. Sorry, I got side flick. One of the things I liked about Factorio and this game in particular is they put space travel as your end goal technology. In Factorio, you win the game. I don't know if you win the game here because I haven't won the game. But one of the problems functions is to build a testing rocket and later on maybe they'll add you build a rocket to re-establish communication with all the satellites in orbit and that's how you win the game by showing the world we're still here now I like this function because I've always for me personally firmly believed that spacecraft space programs are what mankind required what we need what we've discovered especially when you see World War II, we went to war, 100% employment rate, no crime rate, bad luck, people died. Oh, sorry, not bad luck, that's the wrong term. Terrible, people died, because, well, it's a war, people died. This, to me, indicates not what we want to do. Space travel, unfortunately, space is dangerous. Space wants to kill you, that's the end all or be all of space. Because there is no safe habitation space. One wrong move, you're dead. Accept that. But the advantage space gives is space is infinite. Unlimited, unlimited amounts of, well, space. So if we were to devote our entire civilization, or like the Chinese, they tried to build their entire economy around, um, uh, what's it, sorry, their entire economy is built around uh, housing. They were under the impression that as long as they keep building homes, they will always have jobs, they will always have employment, because there will be people employed in building homes, there will be investments to pay for building homes, there will be people who want to who own the homes and make the money that way. And that was how the Chinese economy worked. And now, unfortunately, that is failing. Because it simply got too expensive. I mean, I think construction materials, the price of construction materials in China is ridiculous. To the point where, not to mention the corruption didn't help. Now, as we saw in the United States with the um, space launch system and the first rocket they built there, the reason, part of the reason it took so long is because it made a lot of jobs. But the moment the rocket was finished, and unfortunately the mistake there is they were already using completely obsolete technology completely obsolete technology uh, okay that's there it's just taking a while to build oh I slightly screwed up the steam power plant system I'll fix it now sorry I'm getting a little sidetracked with my story here but basically because the space launch launch system provided a ton of jobs they didn't want it to actually be finished Yes, they had problems with it. Yes, they also ran into terrible corruption problems, unfortunately. But in general, it provided work. Which is why I could never understand... Part of the reason we quit... The Americans quit the space program, or stopped running their space program back in the 60s. Uh, sorry. Stopped going to the moon, and that is it was so expensive. But if you look at it from the other side, the other point of view... It provided a ton of jobs. It, when they uh, parted out who built what in their space program, I'm going to run the pipe. I'm going to run the piping over here. Okay, sorry, I'm just trying to save space for later. It provided a ton of jobs. So, this is something I've, I've always been a bit annoyed with, with humanity as a whole. We could have just as simply decided, okay, yes, it's very expensive, but space is unlimited. You will never run out of places to go, stuff to invest in, places to build. There's asteroids in space. Some of those asteroids are worth trillions, as I'm sure you've been noticed, people have said hundreds of times all over the internet. Okay, so they're worth trillions and trillions of dollars. That's a heck of oh uh, darn it, sorry. That's a heck of a, a valid reason to go to space, to begin mining asteroids because they are worth a fuck ton of money. 
Fair enough. So now we have an option here. We have a location, uh, an industry, basically, that requires unlimited manpower. It requires unlimited investment. It requires unlimited production. Because, you, as I said, you will never not be exploring space. Space is infinite. Or at least we think it's infinite. And, and until we actually go all the way to the deepest, darkest reaches of our uh, space, we will never know whether that's 100% true or not. But as far as we know, yes, it's infinite. So here we go. We've got the perfect industry that will require 100% employment. It will require 100% uh, production. It will require research. It will require... Basically, we would never, ever end it. Finish it. So, I could never figure out why we didn't just go for it. I understand, yes, it's very, very stupidly expensive. Fair enough. But still. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I really have to pay attention. I really have to learn to pay attention here. At least I picked it up before we finished building it. Steam is there. This is all steam piping. Ugh. Bugger. Um. Okay, anyway, yeah. Sorry, I should actually have just paused whatever I was doing before. Okay, there's a bleed off for the steam system. So if this doesn't turn enough of this water into steam, it, it won't matter. No. But yeah, t from my personal perspective, I've always been slightly annoyed that instead of waging war, which provides 100% employment, 100% manufacturing, and costs physical lives, couldn't we have just gone straight for space travel? I mean, well and truly, we could have just gone straight. Okay, I'm going to cancel that because we don't need it. For space travel. We could have chosen, alright, we're going to do... We're going to put all our work into space travel. Yes, it's stupidly expensive, but as Mr. Musk has proven, that you can make it cheaper if you try. Okay, I've got a groundwater problem. Not going to be a problem in uh... do love that, but yeah, we could make space travel our primary industry in and we could break it up in the United States. you could separate each province would have a primary component of the rocket or components of the rocket they specialize in and or the capsule or the remote probes or the mining equipment. And then, of course, as you could clearly see here, you need a lot of industries just to get to one point. So, building all those industries to support your product would be perfect. You'd need millions, billions of people to keep a full-scale space program fully operational, which solves your employment problem. Space is infinite, so no matter how many people you employ, there will always be space to build more factories, to build more production, to build more things. Asteroid belt in our own solar system is way beyond anything we could hope to mine in any human lifespan, or even the lifespan of our probable civilization, providing we don't screw up and blow ourselves to hell. So, the solar system has plenty of space for population, plenty of space for mining operations, plenty of space for resource mining and production. Why the hell not? Ah. Mine tower no longer has designations to be mined in this area. Okay, so we strip mined, strip mining pretty efficiently here. And that's here. Here's the hiccup. We're running out of the ability to mine. In a little while, we won't have any iron mines left. We won't have any... Because we're cooking, burning through all our natural resources. And that's the same problem we're having here on Earth at the moment. We are burning through all our natural resources. So, maybe not tomorrow, maybe not next week, but eventually, we'll have strip-mined this planet to bedrock. So, you know, that's a problem. A 
I don't know how far down I can go before the machines run into, you know, drown. It should be fine because we're above sea level, but still. Anyway, yeah. So why can't we make space? Yes, it's stupidly expensive. But, as I said, Mr. Musk has kindly showed us the way. Well, he's making money, so he's happily showing us the way, correct? Shin. That we can do this. We can make space one of our primary industries. So why don't we? R really well and truly, why don't we? I can't do it. I'm a poor sod with nothing to my name, so that's not going to work. Yes, in a PC game, it's easy peasy. You mine resources, you build the stuff. You don't have to worry about money problems. You don't have to worry about corruption problems. Unless the game has those features, which some games do. Most games don't. This one doesn't. Uh, is this working? Oh. Oops. Cooling tower should kick on. How much are these using? 12 at a time. So there's plenty of... Uh... I am a idiot. Honest to sods. This is unfortunately where my concentration goes when I'm talking. Right down the tube. These have a water, a steam in water out function. Oh yeah, yeah. Gonna fight with me? Uh, it looks like it's happy. Yeah, no, not happy. Okay. Actually, yeah. I need three slots because I need to build a pipe that runs from here to there. Like that. Then I'm going to run the excess, then I'm going to pump steam in here and I'm also going to bleed it off. So. connection as nice as I would have liked. So basically, I, I'm a firm believer that we should make space travel our primary industry. I think it would work very, very well in the long run. And it's, it's inevitable. If we truly want to become a stable, self-sustaining civilization, Space travel is going to become our primary industry, no matter what we do. Building ships and then building the components to build the ships and building the machines to build the machines to build the machines to build the components to build ships and then to build the mining industries to mine the materials to build the components and yada 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 down the line. It makes sense. Yes, it will be very expensive to start off because our technology is, well, let's face it, compared to sci-fi books and stories, a joke. That's just the nature of everything, so there's nothing we can do about that. Is our water recycling properly here? Are we actually achieving our objective here? It looks like the cooling towers are working fast enough. I didn't do the math, so... We are losing water because some of the steam is going elsewhere. Not that it appears to be doing that. 
yeah, small amounts of steam are being bled off. Not much to talk about, but just enough. So yeah, it looks like it is working properly. I wonder why it has this alert icon. Uh, reactor rods 20 per minute, minimum of 16 rods. And there is plenty going in. Okay, this... This is confusing me. It's producing waste. And it's... Okay, obviously they designed it so the product just deletes itself. Or is this belt getting full? Or have I missed something? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Have I missed something? Is something here a dump site? I may have to Google what to do with uh, reactor rods. What are you? Okay, that's a groundwater facility. Is it possible that somewhere out here not yet explored is a dump site? We've been here. No, we haven't. Go explore that settlement. Uh, rock mine. Okay, that could be nice. We have rock production problems. This is another uranium mine. I really need sand. Did I locate a sand mine? What are you? Sulfur. Coal. We haven't gotten to the point where I need to get the coal yet, but we will later. Quartz. Hmm. Probably by this stage, you're supposed to have already explored this area. And I probably will find that there's some place here where I'm supposed to take the waste to be dumped. Uh, offshore facility of some kind. I'm not 100% sure. We just have to explore and find out. For now though, this reactor plant's going to shut down in a little bit when this gets full. Because it's clear we can't store the waste. And I double checked. Ah, wrong type of waste. Ah, uh, spent. That's what I want. S. Yeah, there is no, at the moment, means of removing it from us. So I just need to figure out. So it's not storage. And it's not waste. Uh, I was really hoping it would be, but... So there is something we're supposed to do with it, I just don't know yet. So, flight conveyor belt, go here, go here. Yeah, this seems very responsible to me. We'll just leave the radioactive waste in the open. In barrels that will rust, stuck on a conveyor belt that goes nowhere. Classic Fallout 4 solution. It works. And we can store 219 units worth of waste. Ship. Okay, let's see what the settlement... Oh, out of gas. Okay, and they'll supply us radioactive material in exchange for resources. Might as well go this way, but I need my ship to refill fuel. We really need to research the next generations of technologies. I just haven't gotten that far yet. Uh, is there anything else? We were working on medical kits level 2. we need antibiotics for. And antibiotics, I think we got partially started here. Ah yes, we are producing sugar. We haven't done anything else yet, but we were making sugar. It's over here, and it's chocolate block. So we'll probably make the antibiotic material in this region. Okay. And then the carbon monoxide can be pumped underground. That was the plan. Right. Uh, we have 335 servers. Let's keep our production going. This is actually working. And we're out. Is this on? Yeah, it is on. 
and see how much we're using here. Okay, that's four, so we can go probably to here without problems. Alright, let me just check out. Are we recording? Yes, we are. Yeah, I've got to find. Well, I'm just using the Steam free Steam recording software, so. And it is working, so that's not a hiccup. Uh, okay, that's full. Alright, we are at our hour and a bit of a playthrough, as per usual accident. So, that's fine. Our uh, settlement is full of trash. Got it. Disposing. Population, we still have space for more population, so that's running fine. We've got nuclear power, but we haven't figured out what we're supposed to do with the waste yet. We'll probably find there's an offshore dumping facility we're supposed to take it to. So, next episode, we'll start making medicine medical products level two so i hope everyone has enjoyed this and you have a wonderful day this is gareth from watching mccullough gaming out